Welcome everybody. We are in the middle of a huge fall planting. Uh, earlier videos I told you that we've gotten plants from the local nurseries, a couple of different nurseries, uh, a neighboring county's uh, soil and water conservation district, bought some stuff from Stark Brothers, and we still actually have some stuff coming from Edible Acres. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is I want to show you uh, so what we have planted and what we plan to plant, but really focus on the design of things, like how we want everything to present itself. We're working with taller, well, some taller and larger trees, so it'll be easier to like see. Because um, when you're just starting off with a food forest, you don't have much money, you're buying, you know, little whips, one-year whips and stuff. So you really need to envision, you know, use some imagination. But now that we're using larger trees, we have more pathways, it makes it a lot easier. So. Let's start with the new little garden here, and I'll kind of just work around and show you what we're doing. This is our new garden area, and we have a mixture of currants. We have some elderberries, some black huckleberries. A lot of these large stems that you see will probably be a service berry, either an American version or a Canadian version. So we have this whole walkway lined. We put one of the large plums or cherries or whatever that is, we put that there, and we'll plan on um, pruning that in the spring to a lower height because we don't want it to compete so much with the alder. And then over here we have our little square of Japanese walnuts. We put those to the side so the jug loans doesn't affect too much. But they are doing pretty well. It's a, uh, they call them heart nuts. And we just kind of felt that putting them in a little square here with a apricot kind of just put three in one place and kind of squared off with another random tree. We actually did that over here on the the side of the road. Sorry, I had to cut off the video because I don't want you to know my address on my mailbox. So I <laughs> got to keep a little anonymity here. But this is one of those straw or uh, donut Saturn peaches that we got from Stark Brothers. This one, whoop. Yeah, Saturn Dwarf. I mean, I would rather not have a dwarf, but a lot of these is a special variety that needs to be grafted onto a different rootstock. That's really just the way to do it. Um, so we have this one, we have that one, and then if you look, they're kind of, right back there is an almond, and then there's a, another one of those Saturn peaches. So it's like another collection of three with a random almond. But it's kind of cool because almonds are in the you know same family, I guess. So the leaves are somewhat similar. And this is one that we had planted a couple of years ago. It hasn't. It didn't do especially well because we had a lot of uh, Queen Anne's lace and other weeds around it. But this will give it a new, fresh start for the spring. And I think that's going to work out work out pretty well. So let's move on deeper. So our overall garden plan is really focused around these walkways. So we have some blackberries here and I just added a raspberry, a black raspberry just to confuse me. And then we've added a sassafras. There's a maple that came up on its own. There's another pear or plum that we just added, that very large one. Right in front of that is a walnut, which we'll probably be cutting down in the spring down to the ground. And then we have cherries right here that you can see and we've kind of continued that around because as we walk through we want to be able to um, grab some cherries off of that we got some apple right here and then as we come around here we got a elderberry so as you can kind of see how everything's just lined up on the side here's a cherry bush and then here's another peach pear plum cherry yep as well as an aronia berry back there, because this is actually a pathway that we somewhat kind of use. So as you kind of come through here, you can see it. aronia berries there. We actually have a native plum right there. There's a service berry. And you can kind of come through here, and then you're met with an almond. And then it kind of goes that way, around that little wall of evergreens. And then it also comes here. And we have, what is that? I think that's an elderberry. Yep, we just got a random elderberry in there. and kind of take up the whole space, but as you can see, we just want to line all of our walkways. 
not militaristically um because a lot of these like if we wanted to do it right on the edge it'd be too close so we actually plan on digging up a lot of these at these maples which we have in the past and we actually sell those or plant them somewhere else on another garden but what we want is it for it to be a little bit behind so there's a fruit tree there another large fruit tree there here's an apple uh, so you can kind of see where we set everything back but we allow for you can just kind of jump into the forest and grab some snacks also a friend of mine had given me some peaches and we got them in the ground yesterday we hope we got them in time they look a little uh, they still got some moisture in them it is fall we had our first uh, frost three nights ago so I think these will be okay, but we just put them in a little triangle pattern. Um, and we're kind of curious to see what kind of fruit they're even going to give. But you can see where uh, it branches off there. That was pruned before. We're probably going to prune it again down here. We don't want them to be especially tall. We want them to be uh, about head height. At least have the fruit be about head height. So we want to prune that down and then take some of the length off of these branches. Because we don't want fruit all the way down here. We want fruit coming off of this, making a branch and putting a fruit on. So let's move over to the last kind of design thing we were talking about, thinking about doing, and that was with some service berries. So as we walk through kind of the intermediate property between me and my neighbor, you can see that we have a number of openings. There's like eight openings that lead out to this yard, the road, or the alley. We were just thinking that even though we have already done it with a plum, no, a pear and a peach. We're thinking about doing the same thing with the collection of service berries we have. Just put one right at the entrance of each little deal and see how that kind of, because especially in the spring, it'll be a very pretty thing to see. And it'll give us an idea of where to plant all these. Cause we have what, five here. We have another seven out by the house that we got to plant. And I think five more coming. So we'll plant those. Randomize where we put these milkweed and we should be maybe okay for the rest of the year Well, thank you for watching. I wanted to get another video um, To show you what we're doing. Hopefully Everybody's getting a lot of their trees planted. This is the perfect time to do it where it's maybe a little bit cold in the morning But it warms up enough so you can really get a lot of you know a lot of hours in planting The chickens are doing well they're bok 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 in and still laying eggs a little bit slower than normal i suppose but they're ready for winter we just got to get their water heater thing plugged in and our little fire extinguisher balls hung up in there in the coop and other than that other than some tidying up we'll be ready for winter all right well thank you thank you for watching and we'll see you next time all right bye bye